Fuzzy. All right. Hello, everybody. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? Awesome. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see here, see if we can get our audio going. And we've got the chat panel. So thanks for being a couple minutes early to the meeting. I really appreciate it. Um, it's, uh, it's great to have you here. Along with everybody else that's joining us. Hello, Jim. Hello, Brian. Hello, Diane. Hello, Philippe. Hello, John. Um, Again, this is going to be uh, somewhat of an intimate gathering. Um, there's definitely not a lot of people uh, that uh, that got the invitation to be here, and um, and I'm very thankful for you spending the time with me here. So we want to make sure that we don't have any technical issues, and we also want to make sure that you can actually ask your questions. So what we're going to be doing is having a discussion about a brand new breakthrough that we've made here at Connection Incorporated, where we're actually generating uh, verified leads and appointments in the mortgage industry. So, um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the story and about, uh, you know, how we've came to where we are right now, but basically what we're doing is we're booking qualified mortgage appointments. So you either get like a live call transfer or a lead that just uh, shows up in your calendar. And I'm going to show you basically how we're doing it, what's happening behind the scenes. So you can do it on your own if you want, um, or we can have a conversation about us doing it for you. But I want you to be able to ask questions while we're going through the process. It really is like a small group. So if you ask a question, uh, the likelihood of somebody else having that question and getting value from it is great. Um, and we're looking for a group of us to get together and I'll try this together. So I'm thinking that, uh, you know, we're trying to put together a group of 15, like ma absolute max, like 20 people um, to, to try this thing out. Um, and work. Uh, now, obviously, we already have it refined. We already have a, a proven system behind it, but we want a small grouping of people that we can uh, create testimonials from. So I want your questions. Um, so the way that we're going to be doing that is by raising your hand. So uh, on the Zoom control panel, you can, um, you can click on the Zoom control panel and you can actually, there's like a little hand icon. Um, if you tap that, that will notify me on my side of things um, that you have a question and I can unmute your microphone and actually answer your question. So I'm wondering if there's somebody out there that would like to give this thing a shot uh, in the beginning phases while we get started. If somebody could just raise their hand, uh, make sure that your audio is quiet in the background before you do it. Um, but if you could raise your hand and just say, hey, I have a question, I'll unmute you and, uh, and then we can actually, like I'll answer your question and then work uh, forward. So Stephen, I see the, the comment. Thank you so much. And uh, hello there. And uh, well, that actually works out great. So what I want to do is I just want to make sure that everybody actually knows how to use the raise hand feature. So uh, if everybody could go on to the chat panel and just hit the, the raise hand feature, let me know that that's okay. Stephen, you're good. Jim, you're good. Diane, you're good. Uh, Alfonso, Jonathan. Richard, awesome. So you're all looking good. And then um, Ashley, if you don't mind, uh, make sure you've got a, um, a, uh, a quiet background and uh, I'll click the old allow to talk button to make sure that, um, that everything's okay. So there you are. Hey. Hey, how are you? Look at that technology, eh? <laughs> Everything's working great. Awesome. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for helping out on the, on the demo and uh, Absolutely. That everything's working. Uh, thank you. Excellent. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower all of the hands. So that's going to clear that out for those of you that are still joining us. Um, this is going to be an interactive presentation here. So, um, uh, hold on here more. There we go. Okay, cool. So I have to click the disable talking button in order to do it. So if you have a question, you can type it into the chat panel or you can raise your hand. I will unmute you and I will answer all of your questions that way. Um, that being said, I do have a little bit of a presentation uh, here because I want you to learn from this presentation and then we can talk about uh, whether it's a good discussion uh, point for, for us to be working on together. So 
hello to everybody that is still joining us and uh and we're just going to get started here so um for those of us that are just joining hi my name is chris johnstone welcome i'm the president of connection incorporated and I'm going to be walking you through a brand new opportunity that we have. And I'm going to be teaching you as I show you the opportunity. So I'm really going to lay out for you the entire process of how to get a high quality lead from digital marketing into your business. And then talk to you about uh, our brand new opportunity where we're looking for like 15 to 20 mortgage lenders or mortgage brokers uh, to get in on this beta and, and really kind of work the system together where we'll actually do all the work for you all the way up until like we're going to generate the leads, put them into the follow-up account. Our sales team is going to work those leads for you and book appointments for you in your calendar and live transfer the leads right to you. So um, that's what today is all about. So I'm just going to share my screen and we're going to kick this thing off. So um, Again, we still have people joining us. So the way this is gonna work, if you have a question, raise your hand in the Zoom chat panel or type your question in and, uh, and I will get to it after we do our brief presentation here. So I'm gonna share my desktop. You should all be good to go. And then we will make this full size here. And hold on here. And You'll have to give me a second here. All right, so we are full screen. And um, if you can't see that full screen, just shoot me a message and let me know. Uh, Ashley, that would be on Slack. If we're having any troubles, let me know. So what we're doing here is we're talking about this program called the Mortgage Concierge. And we are calling it the Mortgage Concierge because we are actually working as a concierge in your business. So you can think of us like a full-time staff member that is just responsible for generating leads, qualifying leads, and then booking appointments with leads and then making sure that those appointments actually show up. So it's called the mortgage concierge. And again, if you have any questions, we want this to be, it is a very intimate group of select people. And what we really want is your feedback. So raise your hand if you have any questions and type them into the Q&A panel and then we'll open it up after we're done this. So what we've done is we've broken this down into a five-step process. So again, my name is Chris Johnstone. I'm the president of Connection Incorporated. I've been using digital marketing to generate mortgage deals for 15 years now. And it's been an incredible evolution over time, but we're very good at using Google and Facebook and Instagram to bring people through a process to create a very high quality lead. And what we've really gone through is an evolution. So when I first got into the business, we all we did was drive traffic. So um, in driving traffic, we would originally just run ads on Google ads because Facebook didn't even exist yet 15 years ago. So through time, and I'll keep this mercifully brief, we figured out how to generate a really qu good quality lead from Google. We learned how to do ratings and reviews, and then we learned how to generate good quality leads from Facebook ads and Instagram ads. So we would do targeting and traffic. We would generate ads and then we would just drive traffic to the mortgage lender's website. Well, that ended up creating the problem of us not generating enough leads because the websites wouldn't convert. So then we started going deep into the psychology of internet lead conversion and we developed our Facebook chat bot and we developed our surveys. So when somebody clicks on one of our ads right now, whether it's on Google or Facebook, they essentially go to a survey and that survey starts to qualify that person before we ask them for their opt-in information. And that's critical. We're going to teach on that in a little bit, but it's all about trying to generate the highest quality lead up front. So we solved that problem. So our traffic was good. Our lead conversion was good. Then we would give the leads to our clients and say, here you go, work your leads. Well, most of our clients are very busy individuals, right? You're running a mortgage business. And we discovered over time that it was actually seen kind of like more of a hassle that you would have to like cold call and, and work these leads to actually generate the high quality ones. Because all of us here on the call know 
when you're running internet lead generation, the quality of those leads is co completely different than a referral from a past customer or a referral from a referral partner like a realtor or financial planner. They're colder and there's, there's far less of them that are actually going to make a purchase transaction. So it ends up being the whole 80-20 Pareto principle thing, like 80% of the leads probably aren't going to do anything and 20% are. Well, when you get 100 leads, you have to work all 100 leads in order to figure out the, you know, what's the 20%. So we realized that that was a big pain point for our customers, so we built a CRM. It's called Connect My Leads. And what it does is it automates the lead scrubbing and nurturing step of reaching out to the leads and identifying which ones are actual quality. So it sends ringless voicemails, text messages, emails. And if somebody's come in through Facebook Messenger, it sends Facebook Messenger messages back and forth. It's a, it's a system. It's a process. It runs automatically once it's all set up. And it works to identify the 20% of the leads that are actually interested that reach back out and say, hey, I want to talk to somebody. I want to book an appointment or actually booking an appointment in a calendar. Well, the next problem that we found with our customers once we solved that problem was leads would reply back and let's say they'd get a message from the system at 10 o'clock in the morning and say, they would say, hey, I'm available this afternoon at two o'clock. Well, that lead notification might sit inside one of our mortgage lenders email inboxes for eight hours until they opened it up and looked at it because they've been fighting fires all day and they missed the appointment or the appointment opportunity, I should say. So what we've done is we've now said, okay, here are the five steps to actually generating a lead. You've got to target the leads and you should be using both Facebook and Google, right? In order to generate those leads. I have down here the, the power of collective data. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But uh, basically all that means is that if you're an individual loan officer and you're running your own Facebook advertising account, you only get as much data as the money that you spend. In this new program, the Mortgage Concierge, what we're doing is we're taking all, everybody that's in the group, and we already have a good number of people that are actually in the collective group spending money. Well, that all goes to train the one pixel so everybody's campaigns work better. And I'll explain why that is in just a little, in a second, but it's a huge benefit to our shift in the way that we're looking at this, right? Now, you also need ads and retargeting. So when you're running traffic, when somebody hits a landing page and they don't opt in, it doesn't mean that they're not interested. It just means that something happened um, and they got distracted. So you've got to make sure that the leads that you're generating, you're continuing to advertise to those people afterwards. And the people that didn't opt in, you're continuing to advertise to those people as well because they're good quality leads. You need to keep up with them over time. Quality lead creation is the surveys that we're using. We doubled our lead conversion metrics from the squeeze pages that we were using when we switched to surveys and the leads got better quality, uh, which is amazing. So you run good traffic on Facebook and Google. You retarget that traffic and make sure that people are coming and seeing the offer. You're using a survey to convert that traffic. And then the real, you know, where the rubber is meeting the road right now for us is in lead scrubbing and nurturing. So making sure that the fake leads like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck don't actually come through the system and that you have an automated system in place to follow up with those leads. But when the person raises their hand and they say, hey, I want to talk to somebody right now or I want to book an appointment, it needs to be within a five, I mean, 10 minutes maximum absolute maximum when somebody reaches back out to you and says, I'm ready to go. They have to get a response from a real person within five to 10 minutes. It's just, we, we've proven it because we've doubled the number of appointments that some of our clients are booking just by our staff being available during regular business hours to follow up on those leads. So the, the automatic system nurtures the leads but when they pop out at the end from the lead scrubbing and nurturing phase in phase four to booking appointments, we now have a hybrid model. And that means that the automation is getting people to raise their hand and say, hey, I'm interested. But at the same time, we're calling the leads. We're real time texting the leads 
And when somebody replies back, they get an instant reply and that's doubling the amount of appointments that we're seeing through these processes. So this is a step process that any business needs to go through in order to uh, really become successful. And what we're doing is now offering the entire system for you, uh, completely done for you. It's called the Mortgage Concierge. And I would, uh, I'll take you through this. I'm not sure if that camera is covering that up for you. So what I'll do is I'll move this up. So the way that this system works is we're running all of the ads for you on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube. So what you're seeing on the screen here is one of our Google advertising accounts from way back when. We've had this account since 2007. Um, and just this one Google ad account that we have has $121,267,000 uh, in ads in it. And the only reason I show it, it's not to brag or whatever, that's actually not that much, uh, when it comes to advertising, but what it's showing you is that you can harness the power of collective advertising. So rather than you just spending, let's say a thousand dollars a month on advertising. Well, if you're in a collective of people in our mortgage concierge program and you're spending, or let's say, uh, the ad spend for your account is $1,500 a month, but you're in a group of like 50 loan officers, you get the data and the understanding from everybody that's in there. And it makes the campaigns perform much, much better that, and we already have the systems and process to turn that traffic into leads. Now, the reason why Google is so important is because it's the highest quality lead that you can generate online. When somebody goes onto Google and types in mortgage lender, having a presence in your local marketplace that converts that person into a lead, they're, they, in most cases, they've already found the house that they want to buy. They're already working with a realtor. They're ready to go. They want to, they want to get the actual mortgage application done so that they can fund the deal. So they're fast closing there's not a whole lot of objections. They're just a really high quality lead. So you want to make sure that you're getting traffic from Google because it's kind of like picking the low hanging fruit. Now, in addition to that, you also want to make sure that you're driving traffic from Facebook and Instagram. Let's face it. Um, Facebook and Instagram is not going away. They're getting far more powerful at being able to find out who a proper mortgage borrower is and being able to drive that person uh, into the funnel. Our shared accounts now have over a million dollars in ad spend and all of that traffic goes into a process that's designed to only generate the highest quality mortgage lead and we're feeding that information back into Facebook. So every month that we run, our system gets better and better and better and you get the uh, opportunity to leverage that now i wanted to teach a little bit about ads that actually drive quality leads rather than just ads that are designed to generate leads there's a huge difference and again if you have questions about any of this stuff go ahead type them into the chat panel or raise your hand i will unmute you uh we're only going to spend a couple more minutes and um uh, on this particular part, and then we'll get into a conversation um, and get your feedback and answer your questions. But the advertisements themselves make a big difference on who comes out the bottom of the funnel. So the key is only make offers that buyers, like real high quality buyers, will actually find valuable. So the only people that click on your ads are people that are actually in the process of getting approved for a mortgage. So this is an example of an advertisement that starts off the first thing that people see in the advertisements is a question. Do you have questions about getting a mortgage? What you qualify for? What your payment will be? Use our brand new mortgage bot to get instant answers to your questions for free and find out how much you can afford and at what rate, right? And then there's a little bit more information that comes out if they click on the ad and they want to read more of it. But that gives you a really good idea of an advertisement that's written to a specific person. Only somebody who's shopping for a mortgage who's actually in the market is going to respond to photos of nice houses that look like they're from their marketplace and literally asking questions about getting approved for a mortgage. I see so many people out there on the internet talking about, Hey, we generate leads at two bucks and three bucks and four bucks and whatever. And when you dig in on those systems, most of that traffic and lead gen is based on ads or an offer that are just designed to hook everybody and really designed to hook the lowest quality traffic. Like there's people giving away 
uh, hey, get your foreclosure list of houses in your marketplace that are going to go into foreclosure in the next 30 days. Or we've got rock bottom rates. Nobody beats our rates. Opt in for the lowest rate. Well, that's minnow bait. You're literally fishing with the bait that's going to bring in the wrong customer, right? So when you're running ads, whether it's on Google or whether it's on Facebook, you need a direct response based advertisement that only makes an offer that buyers will find attractive. Um, does that make sense? I want to make sure that, uh, that that's all going well. Okay. So, um, and thank you for that. So once you've got good quality ads on Google and Facebook, you don't want to just send them to an opt-in page. So this is a screenshot of a lead that came through one of our funnels this morning. I just put this into the slide presentation before we kicked off here. And this gives you an idea of one of our clients. And so the lead's name was Alexander. And most leads you generate are, are first name, last name, email, and phone number, right? Well, this lead has told us, do you currently rent or own? Where are you looking to purchase? When are you planning to purchase? What's your estimated credit score? What's your gross annual income? And then we give them a, excuse me, we give them a guideline, right? On each of those. So what's your estimated credit score? We tell them 620 is the minimum. If, you, if your credit score is lower than 620, don't fill out the form. Because why? We don't want that bad quality lead because it's not going to be able to turn into a deal for you. Like, so these people are, ask, are answering these questions before they become a lead. We're literally quizzing these people before they come in the process, right? So then what's your gross annual income? We tell them the minimum that we're looking for, right? And then how much would you like to borrow? Uh, how much do you have as a down payment? And we can customize these for your business. But these are like the general questions that we'll put into almost every survey. Again, because we want high quality leads starting at the beginning of the funnel because A, it's teaching the algorithm, which is going to go out and find us even better credit quality leads. But also when our staff are actually picking up the phone and working these leads, we want the highest possible percentage of conversion. The better the lead comes through, the better the chance of conversion. So we're not very focused on cost per lead. What we're focused on is quality of contacts that are coming through the system. So right before we've even started a follow-up system, the ad is working to repel the low quality borrowers, only attract people that are actually in market. And then the survey that they have to jump through or the chat bot, it is qualifying these people out before they input their information. So if they answer all of those questions, then we ask them for their first name, their email address, and then their cell phone number, right? Now, a couple of interesting points about the way that we're generating leads and why this works so well is because it's based on this process called gamification. And all gamification means is that it's an interactive experience where the person is interested in the outcome of the process. So when you give an ad to somebody and we've tested this like <laughs> for over a year, we ran split tests on this driving some people to a landing page, driving some people to a survey. Offer was the exact same. Find out how much home you qualify to buy and what your monthly payment will be. Well, the people that landed on the landing page, it was just like, hey, we're going to give you a rate calculator and we're going to give you all the valuable tools that they needed for their shopping process along with how much you qualify for and what rate you can expect to pay. Give us your name, your email address, and your phone number. Well, those pages would convert at around 10 to 12%, right? Because there was no gamification of the process. So now what we're doing is we're just taking people to the first question. And it says to find out how much you qualify for and what your monthly payment will be, answer this first question. And they start playing the game of what's going to come out the back end of the survey. What are the results actually going to be? And our average survey converts over 20%. So we doubled the number of leads that we were getting the opportunity to speak to getting a better quality lead because we were making sure that we were qualifying them through the questions. And then when we did get to work the lead, we had far more information to work with when we got them on the phone to actually turn them into an appointment. So the, the, even the lead conversion process is working to actually produce a better result out the back end, which is super important. Now, so here's what we've got. We've got targeting. You want to be running traffic on both Google and Facebook. 
You want to be running ads that are only attractive to somebody who is actually going to be a borrower. When that person clicks on the ad, you're not going to take them to your website. You're not going to take them to a landing page. You're going to take them through a gamified opt-in process that helps to qualify them. After that, you're putting them into what we call an omni-channel lead nurturing process. Sounds like, like big and complicated or whatever. Omni-channel just means you're using more than one channel of communication to convert these people. So those channels of communication are voicemails, text messages, emails, potentially messenger messages if they've came through Facebook Messenger, but also real-time phone calls and text messages uh, from a real live number, right? So by layering all that on, we've again doubled conversion. So we started running this system. This is all automated. So somebody comes into this process and they request the information, it starts sending messages to those people right away. Again, we know if we reach out to a lead in the first 10 minutes that they're generated, uh, in some cases, we can almost double the number of people that we talk to through the lead conversion sequence just by responding in real time. And then that works the same when they do convert and they say, hey, yes, I'm interested. That reply has to come back from you almost immediately. If it's, if it's more than 10 minutes, you'll lose the appointment. Right, so you've got two trigger points where you have to convert that lead in less than in less than ten minutes. So if you're not using automation and a, a and a concierge that's sitting there waiting to take care of that person, you're going to lose that opportunity. Right. So by automating the follow up process, we've eliminated. There's no cold calling. There's no chasing of leads. Everything's automated on the back end. And then when that person replies back there's actually somebody there trained specifically to convert that person into an appointment if, if they're qualified for the actual mortgage scenario, which is super important. So the reason why omni-channel is so important is because some people like to talk on the phone. So they'll reply to the voicemail. Some people love texting. I should back that up. Most people in today's marketplace will, will initiate the conversation to get to the application via text message. Almost 40% of our conversions are coming from text message conversations right now. And then email kind of fills out the back end. And then the live calls are, are helping that as well. But if you think about it, uh, so I'll tell you a little, a quick story. So we went into a boiler room that was running in the mortgage industry and they were getting around a 20% contact rate with the leads that they were getting. Now they had two shifts, uh, with multiple people on each shift. So they had a shift that came in, in the morning and they worked leads uh, for roughly like six and a half hours in the morning. And then they had another shift that came in to work the afternoon shift and they worked for roughly six and a half hours. So they had a minimum of four people every day coming into the office, headsets on like cubicles and stuff, right? And they were literally just like pounding the leads that they were getting they were connecting with roughly 20% of the leads that they were having come into their business. We automated the process and this doesn't sound, I mean, it's great for the business owner. You never want to be in. Anyways, they ended up taking half of the dialers and saying, we're going down to one shift, right? So right off the top, they made money by saving the expenses. We automated the follow-up process for them and took the contact rate to 40%. So, no more cold calling, no more chasing of leads, double the response with far less cost, right? What you're seeing on the screen here is one of the automated funnels. This is one of our clients that's working this concierge, uh, concierge system. And in the first 29 leads that we put into the system, 21 have replied. Out of those 21 replies, uh, that ended up being about 12 conversations. Six apps are taken. One of those loans has already funded and one of them is ready to fund uh, this month. So we've got two, uh, two, one funded deal that we can count on. One deal that is a slam dunk, the, the professional has told us that is absolutely going to close. It's just a matter of the closing date. And then they have four more deals in process where they've actually taken the application. That's pretty, pretty good. And all of these things go into making that type of result possible. So. One of the reasons why we're booking so many appointments is because the automated or the appointment setting process is automated. So what that means is that 
when we're reaching out to people via text and via email and they're, they're kind of hesitant to take a phone call, we're just booking them automatically into your calendar. So you tell us, hey, Monday to Friday from two o'clock to four o'clock, I can take sales appointments. Uh, we connect through Google Calendar to your calendar and we book those people right into those time slots. If you already have an appointment, it's filled up, right? We can't fill it. But this is what our calendar looks like for the different sales appointments uh, that we're booking. So everything in yellow that you see there are verified sales appointments with people that want to submit a mortgage application or talk to a mortgage lender about getting qualified. So literally when you're running this system, you're not even you don't have to think about Facebook ads. You don't have to think about Google ads. You don't have to think about opt-in rates. You don't even have to think about the lead conversion or the follow-up. You just have to notice when live call transfers come in, you see our phone number on there and you know that's a lead calling in to take an app or the appointment just shows up in your calendar pre-booked for you, already warmed up with all the information that you need. And we're going to do a much better job of converting those people to talk to you than anything that we've seen previously. Now, here's the funky thing about this. When we started doing this process, roughly only 50% of those appointments would show up. So what we did was we built what we call the show up sequence. Again, <laughs> we're not very focused on coming up with catchy names for things. We're more focused on results. So the follow-up sequence automatically goes out once somebody books an appointment with you. And the, there's an immediate conversation, confirmation of the appointment that goes to you and goes to the client. Then the day before the appointment, there's another message that goes out that reminds them of the appointment. And then an hour before the appointment time, there's a text message that goes out that reminds them of the appointment. We took our show up rates on the appointment from hovering around 50% to now over 80% of the appointments that we're booking are actually showing up just as a result of putting this automated show up sequence in place that keeps both you and the lead organized and showing up on that appointment. So basically here's what we've got. So uh, we call it the mortgage concierge and it's qualified mortgage appointments that close. We use our 15 years of experience and over a million dollars in data to target the right people online on both Google and Facebook. So you get leads from Google, you get leads from Facebook. You don't have to fund any advertising. You don't have to worry about your ad accounts or anything like that. All the all the risk essentially is on us to drive the traffic and generate the leads. We do the lead gen. So we're taking people to those surveys. We're testing the surveys, optimizing the surveys and continually using them to convert better leads. Then we're scrubbing the leads and nurturing them. We're putting them into our CRM and our concierge team removes the bad leads. So the Mickey Mouse and the Donald Duck and all that stuff. We verify it's either a good email address or a good phone number with a real name. And then we work those leads through a combination of automated follow-up and manual follow-up where our team of appointment setting experts are actually working your leads for you. All the leads are exclusive to you when you sign up and you, uh, you basically have control over all of them. So the CRM program, you have a login and a password. You can go in, you can see all the leads, you can see how the whole system works. We deliver live call transfer leads to you or booked appointments in your calendar, depending on whether you're available for the live call transfer or whether or not the person actually wants to book an appointment in the future, but you get both, right? Then we run the appointment show up sequence so that the people that you're booking those appointments with are actually showing up to the appointment. So here's the opportunity. Uh, we call it the mortgage concierge. What we're doing is we're selling packs of a hundred verified leads. So you come to us and you say, okay, I'm in. I, you know, I'm going to take a hundred leads this month. Um, we generate and scrub the leads for you. You only pay for real verified contacts. So any, any lead that's a false lead, we delete them right out of the CRM. We're only working verified contacts. You get a hundred verified leads uh, for your investment. And that happens every month. You can come back. They're packs of a hundred so that next month you can say, Hey, Chris, that worked out real well. I want 200 leads. I want 400 leads. I want 600 leads, whatever it is. There's no increase in ad spend for you or management or anything like that. It's just the cost per lead and you can buy them in packs of a hundred. We do all of the heavy lifting to generate the leads 
And then we're working those verified leads to turn them into appointments. Right now, for every 100 leads that we're generating, we're booking anywhere from 10 to 15 appointments. And what we're getting feedback on the system right now is that roughly half of those conversations are going to turn into some type of application. So that's somebody who's actually, you know, fits within the credit worthiness box and will submit an application with you. So for every 100 leads, uh, that's boiling down to like anywhere from between like five to seven applications uh, that are actually coming through, which should end up in like four to five closed loans uh, for you. Some people are doing better. Some people are doing a little bit worse, but that gives you a ballpark as to what your investment is going to be and what your return is going to be for it. So no cold calling, no follow-up. Our concierge team here in North America, we're not outsourcing this to like India or wherever. Uh, these are like North American people that have been trained by me to actually convert these leads for you. And right now, for those of you that are on this call, um, to put our little group together, I've priced these as competitive as I can. So if you go to like a Zillow or a, any type of like lead service that's selling leads, Leads in the marketplace right now are going anywhere from $50 on the low end to we know guys in marketplaces that are spending, happily spending $150 a lead to get leads that are the same quality, if not, not as good. Um, we're, in, we're setting the price for this group at $20 a lead. This will absolutely go up in the future. I'm doing this so that you can become a case study with me and you can say, hey, I'm on the mortgage concierge program and here's what's happening. You know, here's the number of leads, here's the number of appointments, and here's the number of closings. I want you to be able to tell that story so that when I do a presentation like this on a, on a larger scale with a larger group of people, I have your testimonial to work with. Obviously, the leads will be a higher price in the future. So right now, it's just $20 per lead, and it's all of the onus is on us to produce those 100 leads for you in a month. Um, there's no contract to sign. And it, you can cancel at any time. So there, there literally is um, no long-term risk for you whatsoever. You're, you're getting 100 verified leads at 20 bucks a lead. Um, and the, uh, the pressure or the onus is on me in order to be able to produce it that. And then we work those 100 verified leads for you. So there's, there's no follow-up that you have to do. There's no cold calling, no chasing. We do all of that for you. So um, if, if you're currently buying leads in the marketplace, or you're currently um, looking for a better, more reliable way to generate 100 leads in your mortgage business that are exclusive to you, that are very high quality, this is a phenomenal opportunity and I would love to work with you. So what we're gonna do is everybody that gets in on this program, specifically from this presentation, uh, we're gonna put together a little group of all of us so that we can actually learn from each other and, and kind of work the system together. I mean, uh, we want this to work and your feedback is very important to us. So uh, we've priced it very competitively at $20 a lead. So for 100 leads, you know, to do the math, your first pack of 100 leads is going to be $2,000. And for that, we're doing all of the work. We're, we're paying the people to man the phones. You get a Connect My Leads software subscription for that. So that's worth $147 a month. Uh, to hire a full-time dialer or two, which you would probably need to produce this volume, you know what people cost in any given month. And then you would have to spend your own money on traffic to generate the leads. And when you're doing that, you have to worry about, are my ads converting? What's my click-through rate? What's my relevancy score? Oh no, Facebook changed the way that their ad platform looks. Where's this feature? You have to worry about conversion data and you're only getting your conversion data and the data from that when you're here in our collective, in the mortgage concierge, everybody's benefiting from everybody that signs up on the program because I'm running all of the ads inside our master account, which already has over a million dollars in ad spend managed underneath it of all mortgage traffic, all going through surveys. So we've already figured out from an algorithm perspective who the high quality borrowers are. So we can go into almost any market and immediately outperform a competitor in that marketplace because of the data that we have. So um, I would love to work with you. Right now, go to conciergemortgagedeals.com. That's conciergemortgagedeals.com to get started. Uh, invest your $2,000. We will be on the phone with you uh, tomorrow morning to do your intake call to make sure that um, 
that you're loving the program. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to hop into Q and a, that took way longer than I thought it was going to. I apologize. I get super excited about this stuff. So what I want to do open now is like open up the line, uh, take your questions, just chat with you about it. Um, and you know, answer your questions and, uh, and kind of go through the whole thing. So if you have a question, the way that this works, you can type it into the chat and I'll read it. But what I would like to do is I would like to speak with you. So uh, what you can do is you can raise your hand on the zoom panel. I'll, I'll call your name and just say, Hey, we're going to unmute the line. So like, you know, give the dog a chew toy or something like that, close the office door and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll have a chat and discuss this. And I put the, the Q and A's, I was going to write the questions out, but I, uh, uh, now that I'm live in front of you, I want to focus on your questions. So let's do that. Um, okay. So, um, so John says, I don't have a microphone. So John, no problem. Go ahead and, and, uh, and ask your questions in the chat and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll get that for you. So uh, first question, uh, why aren't we sending them to a landing page? Uh, so I did kind of go through that. I'm assuming you asked that question a little bit earlier, um, but landing pages don't generate as high a quality of lead and because you're, you're not getting any data whatsoever on them. It's like, it's just a name, a phone number and an email address. When you're taking them to a survey, you're getting the purchase price of the home that they're looking for, whether they have a down payment, what they think their credit score is, uh, whether they've been previously bankrupt, if they're working with a realtor, there's all kinds of really great data you can get up front. And we discovered after launching these surveys uh, that we're roughly doubling the conversion. So on our landing pages, we were getting about a 10% conversion. On our surveys, we get about a 20% conversion. So we doubled the amount of leads that we get to work, uh, which is amazing. So if you look at what we've done and you look at the different uh, stages in this, so with traffic, so, okay, I don't want to get too nerdy here, but in, in Facebook and Google, there's this thing called a click-through rate. And what that is, is a measurement of how many people are clicking your ads compared to how many people are seeing them, right? So impressions, which means nothing other than people like saw your ad pop on, up on the screen. On Facebook, if you can get more than 1% of people to click on your advertisement, the, the cost per click goes down roughly by half. So if you're getting like a half of a percent of people to click on your ads, you're going to be spending $3 a click. As soon as you get above 1%, it goes down to $1.50. Well, we don't operate an ad set that does less than a 1% CTR. So right off the bat, we're generating double the amount of traffic internally, right? Then when it comes to lead generation, your competitors are going to be driving to a landing page or, or <laughs> there's so many of them that are driving to their homepage of their website, which is going to convert like horribly, horribly. I, anyways, so we're getting... Even if they're getting 10%, we're getting 20. So we're getting double the traffic and we're getting double the leads that are coming through. And that's at the top of the funnel. So when it, when it comes down to the bottom of the funnel, that makes a massive impact. Then you look at lead scrubbing and nurturing. Well, even if you had a call center and you had four people working the phones for 12 hours a day, you get in contact with roughly 20% of the leads. We do all of that for you using automation and we're speaking to roughly 40 percent of the leads so there's another doubling of the results that you're getting out the bottom end of your funnel and then from the appointment setting perspective again we've doubled the number of appointments that we're booking because we have real-time people sitting waiting for somebody to say hey i'm ready for an appointment and they convert them right away well that's doubled the amount of people that are actually booking an appointment and then our appointment show up rate was 50%. We put the show up sequence in place and took it to 80%. So we're getting a 30% bump on the people that are showing up on the appointments. So it's like, I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. That's on me, re realistically. The, it, it makes a lot of sense. And I don't know why it took me this long. Um, but in every single stage of the process for years, this has been a pain point for me trying to teach and train and, and empower people uh, to make differences in these parts of these business. Now that we're just doing it, it's so much easier. Um, and the results are that much greater. So um, Richard, the, to sign up, it's conciergemortgagedeals.com. Welcome. I'm really looking forward to working with you. And, um, and so there, 
so to answer your question about the, uh, the markets and whether or not the locales are exclusive. Uh, so right now they're, we're not saying that they're exclusive, but everybody in this group gets first right of refusal. So if you come to me and you're buying a hundred leads and you say, Chris, I want to go to 200 leads. And in the future, I'm going to want to, I'm going to ramp this up. I want to go to 300 leads or 400 leads. If I have somebody that comes to me that wants to buy leads in that marketplace, we will approach you first and we will say, Hey, what's your intention on the program? How are things going? What do you want to do with this? We'll make sure that you're taken care of first. And if there's any type of bandwidth issue on the number of leads that we can generate in a marketplace, we're going to take care of our existing clients before we bring more people in. That just makes sense. We don't want a ton of people on this program. This is not a volume based thing. This is a relationship based thing. It's why we're doing it like this so that we can actually have a relationship and be very involved in the results that you're getting from the system. So, um, so it's not area exclusive, but you do have first right of refusal before we, uh, before we run into any type of traffic problems. And we're watching that very carefully because I get all the data. I finally get to run all of the campaigns with my team and, uh, and we're in there every single day. So it's, uh, it's working well. Um, our next question, and again, uh, welcome Richard. Thank you for your purchase. We're looking forward to working with you. So that's concierge mortgagedeals.com. Uh, I know concierge is a little bit of a weird word, but it, it was accurate to what it is that we're doing. We're literally hiring <laughs> trained concierges to book appointments for you. So uh, sorry for the weird name. Um, next question from Nick, what market or look, how are all of your analytics derived from? So all of our markets are North America. So it's either Canada or US. Um, I would say that the majority of our statistics are US based. Um, what factors should I impose on those percentages considering an impacted market, uh, Southern California? So we currently have systems running in this program in Southern California, and we are, uh, so I know crushing it isn't exactly a professional term, um, but what we're seeing on the number of people that are open to the offer and actually booking appointments is very, very good. Um, so we know that Southern California market very well. We've run traffic there for a long time and, uh, and we know how to get those leads. So uh, we would love to see you in the program, Nick. And, uh, and what's up, hope all is well. Um, so David, great question. Are these purchase refinance or second mortgage leads. These are all purchase based leads. These are people that are, are wanting to work with a realtor or are already working with a realtor that want to get qualified to purchase a home. So these are, these are purchase leads. Um, Robert, yes, we also have systems in Northern California. So our, um, our marketing in the United States goes like this. California is our number one traffic source. Florida, is our number two traffic source. Texas is our number three traffic source. And then um, oddly enough, uh, Washington. So Washington is performing really well. And we had another, excuse me for looking at my phone right now, but I'm pulling up a Slack conversation with our operations director. And he was working a funnel yesterday for one of our clients. And we had six leads come in yesterday, four of them booked an appointment. And these are in, hold on here, Tennessee. Yeah, six leads, four appointments uh, based out of Tennessee. So we're getting uh, ridiculous conversions there as well, which are, which are awesome. So the, that being said, uh, all of the risk is on me to drive the traffic, right? Like your, your $20 per lead doesn't change. If it costs me $25 to deliver a verified lead to you, I'm upside down on the program. I priced it wrong, but all of that is on me, not on you. Um, we decided that $20, even if our margins were, were ridiculously thinner, we went in the red a little bit. It's worth it to get people getting the verified appointments so that in 90 days you can come back and get on another presentation like this and be like, yo, what's up, Chris? Here's my experience on the program. This is what's been happening so that we can, you can use the collective results of the group to sell more of the system. And in the future, I want to charge $50 a lead. I think that there's a very fair nominal price for these. It's at the, you know, the bottom end of what larger companies like Zillow and that are, are charging for it. 
And uh, I believe that the leads are superior, especially with the fact that we have the concierge service actually booking the appointments. I think that's fair, but I want to have a core group of people that are successful on the system that can talk about it before uh, I go at that price point. That's why we're having this meeting all here together. So um, hope that helps. Um, so our next, our next question from Diane. Uh, so Robert, I, I think I covered that. Northern California is all good. Uh, what about compliance of the ads compliant with local regulations? Yes. So Diane, um, what we do is we produce everything for you and we send it to you in a compliance package. You get the appliance, <laughs> you get the compliance package approved, and then we start running the advertisements inside our account. So everything is still like well run through compliance. We've, you know, we work with a compliance department every day at Connection Incorporated. We understand how important compliance is. Um, so we're, we're very heavy on that. So hopefully that helps as well. Um, while I continue through the text questions, um, is there anybody that would like to raise their hand and actually ask a question live? I see Glenn. Uh, what's up? Hope all is well. Um, are you are you okay to turn on your microphone and and ask questions, Glenn? Do you have a is it um, quiet in your background? Are you okay if I unmute your microphone? Okay, perfect. Here we go. Uh, everybody, welcome Glenn to the call. Hi, Chris. Hey, Glenn. Hey, how are you? I'm always doing well. Doing great. Awesome. Great to hear you. I have two quick questions for you. Awesome. If we're looking for Illinois leads and yes. we're commingling funds from mortgage originators, say in California, New York, Texas, how do you target just Illinois leads for us? Great question. So what we do is we set up uh, a campaign inside our and inside our system. So one goes out on Facebook, one goes out on Google, and we tell the network only show the ads in this marketplace. So it takes the overall learning from the algorithm as to what a good mortgage borrower is, and then applies that personal criteria of who that person is in that smaller demographic uh, or smaller marketplace. So it's kind of like Where's Waldo. Um, even though, you know, every page on a Where's Waldo book, and you, you can tell I have a five-year-old, I've defaulted to a Where's Waldo reference. But um, like you open up the book, you, you find Waldo in any type, different type of scenario, but you always know that you're looking for Waldo. The, the, um, the algorithm works the same. It doesn't matter where you put it in the country it knows the exact borrower that it's trying to find. And, uh, and we've found that in, with running our data, it takes us about two weeks to really kind of narrow in on who that person is in the marketplace. And then it, it sings after that. So our fund, say our $2,000 would go toward a similar ad to others, but it would be targeted just for the Chicagoland Illinois marketplace. That's right. And on your intake survey, you can pick uh, a very, like right now we can drop a pin and target within 10, a 10 mile radius on Facebook. So that's as, as tight as we can get on that. We like to target statewide, but if you want to pick a specific geographic market, we can. On Google, we can still target via zip code. And so you can give us a list of zip codes and we'll just show ads there. Okay, because I know Facebook now limits you if it's a housing ad. Um, that category is limited to 15 mile radius, so we can drop a pin and then go 15 miles around that. That's right. That's right. And are you are you opposed to doing like multiple pins? If we did like Chicago and then the western suburbs, we dropped multiple pins and then 15 mile radius is around those pins. That's even better. Okay. Then ne next question is if the territory. Uh, our territory, say, is Illinois, but you said previously it's not exclusive. So let's just say for sake of discussion, there's another wonderful mortgage originator who's almost as wonderful as we are. Almost. Just, almost. <laughs> decides to get into the program, and there's a lead that is generated from the marketing. Is that given exclusively to us? In other words... It's not exclusive to Illinois. You're going to allow other people to come into Illinois that want to participate in the program. But if we get a lead into our funnel, 
and then it's going to be automatically, you know, taken care of by you and nurtured and appointment set. That is not not going to be given to another mortgage originator in Illinois. That's right, and um, and that's a great question, Glenn. So uh, what we do is we set up an ad account in our ad account just for you, and it has a survey that's just for you and a CRM program that's just for you. So when that person sees that ad and they opt in, it's, it's, your, it's your entire system that works that whole lead. So we always know that's Glenn's lead. Uh, they're, they're, ne they're never pooled at any point. It's, it's we've built a system just for you and everything that happens in that system is yours. Okay, because the, the reason I'm bringing that up, Chris, is I want to differentiate it from Velocify, where Velocify, uh, if a lead is generated, let's say, in Illinois, it goes out there, but it'll go out there to maybe three Illinois mortgage originators, not necessarily in our branch, and it's the who, whoever has the fastest dialing finger wins, and you're saying, no, that's not the case. If we do generate a lead for you, it's exclusive to you, but there may be other Illinois originators that would get a different lead because of their marketing and their pin drops and their territory. That's right. You've got it. So every lead ex is exclusive to you and we're only working that lead to book an appointment with you. Okay, Chris, I, we really appreciate that. that. That's very helpful. That's awesome, Glenn. Thank you for the questions and uh, we'd love to have you on the program. We're thinking seriously about it. <laughs> awesome, Ed. Great to hear your voice. I hope all's well. We're doing great because of you. Oh, awesome. Right on. Okay. Uh, so thanks again, Glenn. Uh, Luis, um, so hold on here. Uh, Luis, are you okay to chat? Maybe just type yes into the chat panel and I'll, uh, I'll unmute your mic. Uh, just let me know when it's quiet in the background and you're, uh, and you're good to go. All right, great. Here we go with Luis. Hello, Luis. Maybe? Hold on. It's just taking a little bit of a second here. Can you hear me? Oh, hold on here. Yes, Luis, is that you? That's me. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Chris. Hey. Well, this is kind of exciting. I have a, a couple of questions for you. Um, I did try your previous program where I paid for the Facebook and then I paid your company. And you're right, one of the biggest problems was the, the lack of connection with the lead. So that's awesome. You kind of got that piece of the puzzle figured out. Um, so I wanted to ask you, when you say we buy a hundred leads at $20, is that each one, is that the same as a hundred booked appointments? No. So the leads are somebody that's, that's come through the survey and then we've, we vet them. So we check the phone numbers, we check the emails and we check the, the names, uh, in addition to them. So if they have a good email address and we can communicate via email, that's a lead. If they've got a good phone number, uh, and that matches the, the name that's on the account, um, that's a good lead. If we call that person and they say, no, that's, that's not me, somebody used my phone number, we scrub that lead out of the system. So you're only paying for the verified leads and then we're working those leads to book the appointments for you. So out of a, out of a pack of 100 leads, you can expect anywhere from 10 to 15 appointments to be booked from, from that grouping of leads. Okay. And the, how do you figure out how to like percentage wise, you only have so much money for the advertising. How do you figure out with so many markets in the country where to put what amount of money in? So what we do is we do an intake call with you. And um, just like when we were talking to, with Glenn, um, you're going to come to us and say, Hey, I want leads in these marketplaces. So we take those locations and run that funnel for you. And right now, what I do is I invest enough money to generate your 100 leads. So uh, I'm not capping budgets right now. It's just, you know, I've made a commitment to 100 leads at $20, and I'm going to spend whatever it takes in order to get you your 100 contacts. Understood. And then you can specialize, like I specialize in first-time home buyers. So you would, how would you handle... Again, different loan originators having different goals. 
That's a great question. So when you purchase the program, you get paired with an account manager and that account manager is responsible for the results of your system. So when you, they do their intake call with you, they ask you questions to identify all of that stuff. And then we tailor the system for you. Um, so they're purchase leads and then yours, we would write in actual ad copy, like we said in the training, hey, this one's for first time home buyers. So we're gonna write ads that target first time buyers so that just they will click on the ad. Then the survey, we'll change that from our standard survey to a first time home buyer survey. Then the follow-up system, we're gonna change the text messages, the emails, the ringless voicemails to all speak about uh, you know, buying your first home and that sort of thing. So we custom tailor uh, the system just to make sure that you're getting the type of leads that you wanna to talk to. Now the previous program, I personalized all the outgoing voicemails. Yeah, will I, I still be able to do that or will you do that? For sure. Yeah, absolutely. We would love for you to have, for you to be the person on the ringless voicemails. Um, and then again, and the, the CRM package that you get is yours. It's included in the program and, and you can help us with the follow-up as, uh, as much as you would like. And that's the same with the texting personalization. Yep. You got it. So if somebody calls the, you'll have a phone number on there too, or no? Yeah. On the ad. And do you have a live person answering that? Yes. Okay. And you mentioned in your presentation something about visual charts under no contract, use visual, visual charts to communicate info more effective. What does that mean? <laughs> that means that uh, I forgot to change the slide template before we, uh, before we went live. That's a, <laughs> that's a mistake on my part. So there's no visual charts. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we can take a screenshot of your Facebook ad account and send it to you, but you probably don't want that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And my last question, Chris, is this $20 uh, price you're giving us, and you mentioned you might be going to 50. If we're some of the first people coming in, is there any way you can kind of freeze that price for us as long as we continue doing advertising? Yes. Yep. For those of you here in this, in this group, those, those are, I'm happy to keep those prices for you. Uh, again, this is about creating a small little community of people that are getting results and, and, you know, I consider it a mastermind. I didn't want to call it that because it's, you know, we don't get together in person or anything like that. But what we're looking for is like a small group of people that all get it, that are all getting results on it. And then we can start to tell the larger story to a larger group of people. So you've sampled this concept. You said you've been sampling it this year? Or? Yes. Okay. It's been about four months. Okay. And you feel you're ready to go public with this with us? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds pretty exciting. That's it for me. Pleasure talking to you, Chris. Thank you, sir. Likewise. And, uh, and great to see you on here. Hope all, uh, hope all is well. And my name is Louis, by the way, not Louis. Louis. So Sorry, you. Louis. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, well, it does matter, and, uh, and I apologize, but won't happen not again. A, not a problem. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Louis. All right. Mike. Mike is on the call with us. Uh, so Mike, if you could give a, um, um, if you could give just like a yes or a, send me a message on the chat, just to let me know you got a nice quiet background and uh, we'll unmute your microphone. We're good to go uh, while we're waiting for that. Uh, Patricia is asking, does it integrate with Salesforce? Uh, the answer to that question, Patricia, is yes. If you wanna push your leads from our connected CRM into Salesforce, you can. Um, but I, what I would do is I would take the appointments, take the application and just use that as the opportunity to move them into Salesforce. So hopefully that helps as well. And Mike is good to go. Here we go. And. Hey, Chris. Hey, Mike, how are you? I'm better than I deserve. That's for sure. <laughs> Everything worked out with Cam okay the other day? Yeah, thank you. Um, thank him too. I mean, he did a good job and, you know, he just knows what all he's doing. So two things just for the group that's out there. I mean, I'm a big fan of yours have been since gosh, 2012, I think is when it started. And uh, uh, so I signed up immediately to this deal, but as I'm listening to the questions come across, it's third one of my questions is you're getting 15 appointments, 10 to 15 appointments out of a hundred. What happens to the other 85 or 90 things? Do, you, do they just stay in the hopper or, or what do you do with those guys? 
Yeah. So we continue to market to them. So those leads will pop out. You know, some of them will pop out in three months, four months, five months. We're, we're just going to continue to work them. We don't stop with the follow-up. Um, but if you, if you look at traditional lead gen in the mortgage industry, we'll probably top out at about 40% of those leads replying back. And then the other 60 will uh, either never reply or unsubscribe or, or whatever happens with them down the road. Gotcha. Okay. And then one little technical thing. I mean, I, I, I love the CRM. And I, I'm, so what I hear is that the uh, initial investment I made in the CRM by itself is going to be supplanted with this uh, concierge program, which I, is pretty amazing to me. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. So what I would do is the, so the setup fee that you paid and the, the first payment of $147 for the software, we'll just either take that and apply it directly to your payment here today. So I'll get the girls to find your order and take the, uh, and take that amount off of it. Um, or I can credit both of those back to you and just refund them. However you want to do that is fine. Well, whatever is easy for you. Listen, I'm thrilled that I got invited to this. I'm thrilled to uh, be associated with what I think is a, even though you say nerdy, I just call it smart. And <laughs> appreciate you doing all that hard stuff for me so I can do the easy stuff. Well, Mike, it's been amazing to watch you crush your ratings and reviews on the, uh, on the Google side of things. I still, I just, I, I love thinking about that. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next Freedom Club thing. All right, brother. See you later. Later. Okay. Um, I'm still working on, uh, on figuring out this, uh, this chat panel thing here. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. So if anybody else has any other questions, um, just go ahead and, um, and go ahead, raise your hand so that I can see uh, that you have a question. We can chat and we'll keep, we'll go back to the, to the text chat here. Um, and again, it's uh, concierge mortgage deals dot com uh, to sign up and claim your 100 leads pack. And again, we'll be reaching out to you obviously immediately after your purchase to book your intake call. And we're looking to book intake calls as early as tomorrow uh, or Friday to actually get the criteria so that we can start building your campaigns for you. It takes us about a week um, to 10 days. So seven to 10 days in order to get everything built and running. Uh, once you give us the compliance tip of the hat or the nod, um, it, it take, our ads go on and it takes about 40, uh, it takes about um, 48 hours for the ads to start running through the Google network and the Facebook network and then the leads start coming in. So um, it's all good. Our next question is from Patricia. So we've experienced issues with mortgage lead gen in the past where the leads ended up going to the realtor's comp. Oh, going with their realtor's recommendation. Do you vet for that? Are we competing with the realtor's lender? So the only time that that would be an issue, Patricia, is if you, you pre-qualify somebody through the system and then you send them to a realtor and then the realtor decides to refer to them to somebody else. I, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I, I would personally find it very difficult and it, it would not be unheard of, but yes, I, uh, if you send a verified pre-qualified deal to a realtor, I think that they understand if they give a referral to somebody else in the mortgage industry, they're not going to get another pre-qualified lead from you. So I would say that that's a realtor definitely shooting themselves in the foot. Um, so no, that's not an issue with our system. Um, and if it ever did happen, I think it would be, uh, you know, it would be one deal and certainly you would never send another pre-qualified deal to that realtor again. So uh, we're not working realtors leads um, and, and we're certainly not getting leads from realtors. We're, we're going to the marketplace to get mortgage applications. It doesn't have anything to do with real estate. We're, we're, we're advertising for the mortgage deal because that's what we want. We want a mortgage borrower. So hopefully that helps. And I'm sorry to hear about your experience there. Um, but onward and upward, you're better than that. And uh, you're going to crush it uh, without that partner. Um, so Glenn says, uh, basically, are the leads exclusive? The answer to that is yes. You get access to our CRM program and uh, all the leads that go in there are exclusive to you. Uh, so Patricia, yes, uh, we use Zapier with the CRM. So you can zap your leads out of our system into Salesforce if you want to, but 
honestly, um, I would take the application and then put them into Salesforce. Um, uh, Santiago, yes, we are recording the presentation. We've had it not work in the past. Um, if it is available, our team will reach out. We'll, we'll email you a copy of it if you would like. Luis says, do we pay for the lead only once? The answer to that is yes. Um, so it's $20 per verified lead. And, and we're verifying the leads in the system. You don't pay for junk leads. So if it's a bad phone number or a bad email address, um, we take it right out of the system. You don't even see it. Like you can see a lead was generated and you'll go in and it won't be there. That's because it was a bad lead and we took it out of the system. So you're only getting a hundred verified contactable leads um, in your investment. Um, Okay, Patricia, no worries at all. It's all good. Ask as many questions uh, as you would like. Luis says, so if you persist in contacting leads that I've paid for and they book an appointment three months down the line, is that lead charged to me again? So the answer to that is no. Um, so you pay for the leads up front once, we continue to work them. So you buy 100 leads the first month, you buy 100 leads the second month, you know, by the third month, you're like, hey, Chris, give me 200 leads. You would have 400 leads total in your system we're working all 400 to turn them into appointments for you. So every month that you're on the system, you're getting a greater impact because we're working a larger and larger database on your behalf. Um, and we never, you know, double charge you for a lead or anything weird like that. So uh, that's awesome. Next. And then verified lead means phone and email, or does it mean at least one way to contact? So Patricia, it means at least one way to contact. What we're really looking for is the cell phone number. That's the big thing for us. A lot of our results are happening through the real-time texting. So we're texting people, hey, is now a good time to chat about your mortgage? And they'll reply back via text like, yes, which in, in that case, we were calling them right away from that phone number and then doing the live transfer. Or they'll say, you know, this afternoon at 5.30 or whatever it is. And, uh, and then we're booking that appointment. Uh, now, if you've told us, hey, no appointments after five o'clock, we'll then book them into the next day whenever there's an available time that works. So um, that works. Uh, our next question is, how many days or weeks does it take to get 100 leads in our CRM? So uh, that is entirely up to you. After the first two weeks, it's like a faucet. We can, we can turn it up, we can turn it down, turn it on, turn it off. Um, you know, if you're going away on holidays or something like that and you don't, you don't want it, um, appointments, I should say. Um, but we, we, can, we can ramp these up really fast. So if you tell me, hey, I want, to, I want 100 leads in a week, um, we'll, we'll crush our ad budget to get you those 100 leads in a week. Again, Ultimately, our goal here is not to have you at 100 leads. It's to have you experience the first 100 leads so that you can move to 200 or 300 or 400 and, and get that volume in that system. Eventually, these will top out, but you have to take into account, we're not just running on Facebook. We're running on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube. So we have the four largest traffic sources for mortgage lead gen online right now all funneling into one account in your little market. So our, our lead gen can get pretty, pretty well dialed in uh, and it's definitely scalable. So uh, all good on that side of things. Uh, another great question from Patricia. Uh, can we work the leads on our side as well if we manage to find time or do you prefer that we leave them alone? They're your leads. Um, we're working them very well, but it's, it's lead conversion. Sometimes if you, if you make a phone call at the right time, they'll pick up and, and you get the opportunity to convert that lead. We're more than happy with you working the leads on your side as well. Um, that's, that's totally okay. So, um, so the link there is conciergemortgagedeals.com. Ashley, thank you for posting that in the comments. So that's concierge mortgagedeals.com. And again, we'd like you to see you start with a hundred leads, uh, no contract to sign. It's all good that way. Um, and, uh, and, uh, we would love to be working with you. Um, next question, is there a time frame to get the current pricing for this? So we don't have a current time frame uh, for the system. Uh, but again, this is that, well, y'all can see how many people are in the meeting. So it's a very intimate group of people. We'd like to see you get started. What we're doing, what my, what my perfect scenario here is, is that we get enough people from this presentation that are in the system that we can just close it down and just worry about the us, 
right? We want us in the group to be successful and then we're going to relaunch it out. So it's kind of like, let's just, let's get the group together now. And then in the future, when we release it again, the pricing will be higher. So I'm assuming, you know, people are going to need a, maybe a week to make the decision. So we'll probably close it down uh, at the end of this week, make sure that everybody's in the group. Um, and then like by next Tuesday, it's just focusing on getting results for the clients. So I would say, you know, if you can make your decision this week, um, that would kind of be our deadline. The absolute maximum would be next Tuesday. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, so Lewis uh, says, for 100 leads, that will give us five to seven applications with four to five closed loans. So then with the 100 leads, giving 10 to 15 appointments, will give you five to seven appointments. Yeah, that's right. And so, but out of the five to seven appointments, there are going to be, you know, the rate shopper goes somewhere else or, you know, it comes down to them actually closing the deal and all of a sudden their, you know, their brother-in-law got into the mortgage business or something weird. Like you're not, um, even of all the applications that you're going to take, you're still going to lose some of those deals. So we're trying to be conservative in the numbers on what the, what the closing would be. But I think, you know, if we can get you on the phone with, with a mortgage customer who's ready to take an application, I think it's very conservative to say that 50% of those people are actually going to fund. Um, you know, I know that everybody here on this group is at a higher level, either, you know, branch manager or at least doing significant volume. And um, that means you know how to talk to customers and close deals. So I'm not that worried about that portion of it. I'm very worried about the let's make the appointments happen and try and scrub those leads as good as we possibly can so that the people that you're talking to are able to move forward in the process. That's, that's our part of the process. Um, so hopefully that helps as well. Uh, Patricia, thank you so much. That's fantastic. And, um, and here we are. It's going to be around 45 minutes, um, but we are, we are uh, well over time here. So uh, unless anybody else has any other questions, we will wrap it up. Thank you very much for being here and investing your time. Uh, again, conciergemortgagedeals.com. That's conciergemortgagedeals.com. Uh, we'd love to have you in the program. Uh, for those of you, I haven't got a, a running total, but for those of you that sent the comments that said that you were in, we're really looking forward to working with you. And let's just give this uh, one more second here. Yeah, so welcome uh, to all of you. It's amazing. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to working with you. And again, everybody uh, have a great day. So Jim, I am uh, I'm actually a little bit late for my next appointment, but I will do my best to give you a ring uh, when I'm done. It'll probably be after five, but I've got your number here. And yes, I will give you a call. If not, um, if it stacks up, uh, Shakir from our team has all the details on the program. He'll give you a call as well, but I would like to speak with you. So I'll, uh, I'll make that call. And uh, Patricia, we, as long as everything goes okay with the recording, yes, we'll send out the recording uh, to those of you that have attended the, uh, the meeting here today. So hope that, uh, hope that works. Excellent. Perfect. Again, thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day and, uh, and all of the best. Wishing you the greatest of success. Talk soon.